Welcome, foolish mortals, to another episode of the Hitchhiking Host Show, 101. I am your host, your ghost host, <laughs> West Truth, and I am back this week with another history episode. Well, where are we headed to in our time-traveling doom buggies this week? Back to 1956 Disneyland, of course, where we're going to talk about, we're going to row our ways into the episode because we're going to talk about, they were first known as the Indian War Canoes. Now you may know them as the Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Most Disney park visitors know of the canoe attraction known as the Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes. Back in its early days, the attraction was actually called something different. As an additional vehicle to venture around the rivers of America, along with the Mark Twain Riverboat, Raft to Tom Sawyer Island, and Mike Fink Keelboats, you could also hop on an Indian War Canoe. The attraction was part of Disneyland's Indian Village, and the canoes began their tours on July 4th, 1956, in Frontierland as a D-ticket attraction. The canoes were different than the other modes of transportation, as it wasn't exactly a relaxing attraction. Guests actually helped propel the long canoe with a child or adult-sized oar around Tom Sawyer Island. Riders weren't left alone to their own devices, however, as they were helped by two legitimate American Indian guides, one who sat up front and one in the back. The guides were there to make sure guests didn't get lost or collide with one of the other boats while on the rivers of America. Sometimes the canoe would have a part of the river to itself, and the guide could ask the passengers to row as hard as they could to see how fast they could go. The Indian War canoes only operated on busy days, most likely during the summer or on weekends. Years later, a number of changes were made to Frontierland, one of which saw the closure of the Indian village to make way for a whole new land that would be known as Bear Country, which would be the home of the Country Bear Jamboree. During the changeover, the Indian War Canoes were renamed to the Davy Crockett's Explorer Canoes, which were inspired by the Davy Crockett miniseries, with the guides now wearing coonskin caps. Bear Country opened at Disneyland in March 1972, but would become Critter Country in 1989. Today you can board the Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes at a small dock near the Hungry Bear Restaurant. The canoes are made of fiberglass, 35 feet long, and hold 20 guests, two per row. Each canoe has two guides dressed as frontiersmen or frontierswomen at the bow and stern. The guides are referred to as the helmsmen, bowmen, and sternmen. Riders are given a short lesson on how to paddle the canoe after leaving the dock. Small children are required to wear life jackets. Life jackets are also available for adults who cannot swim in the event the boat ever capsizes. As the canoe travels 2,400 feet around Tom Sawyer Island, the guides point out sites such as the Settler's Cabin and the Indian Chief on horseback. The ride's length depends upon how fast the paddlers are and how much other traffic is on the river. The Explorer Canoes also found their way to the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World as the Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes debuted in Frontierland on their opening day, October 1st, 1971. A sea ticket was required for guests to board the canoes, which were also 35 feet, from a dock located to the north of Tom Sawyer Island raft launch and traveled along the same path as other watercrafts on the rivers of America. At Tokyo Disneyland, Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes debuted on their opening day, April 15, 1983, along the rivers of America in the theme park's western land. It was renamed Beaver Brothers Explorer Canoes in 1992 with the opening of their version of Critter Country. A canoe ride known as Indian Canoes opened with Euro Disneyland, of course now Disneyland Paris, on their opening day, April 12, 1992, in Frontierland. This version didn't last long, however, as it closed just two years later in 1994. At the Magic Kingdom, the Explorer Canoes closed permanently in 1994. 
While they continued to exist at Disneyland back in 1998, many thought the Disneyland version might have become extinct as the canoes closed unexpectedly before the scheduled end of the season, with rumors of the attraction costing the park too much money to operate. But the canoes did return in summer of 1999 after all, and now operate on busy days, mostly in the summer and on weekends. At Disneyland, the Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes, along with all other Rivers of America attractions, temporarily closed on January 11, 2016, during the construction of Star Wars Land, and the canoes are expected to reopen in summer of 2017. The newest version of the canoes are known as the Explorer Canoes at Shanghai Disneyland, which also debuted on the park's opening day, June 16, 2016, in their Treasure Cove area of the park. While it's a little different now from when it debuted, feel free to grab an oar on your next trip to Disneyland and paddle your way around the rivers of America. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another episode very soon where I'll talk about the history of another certain attraction, as well as another Hitchhiking Host show where I'll tell you what happened down in the Disney parks. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube, youtube.com slash Hitcho Show. You can like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash Hitcho Show. Follow on the Twitter at Itcho Show. And if you want to listen to the show or you are listening to the show, you can do so over on Podbean, hitchoshow.podbean.com, or search on iTunes or Stitcher under West Truth or the Hitchhiking Host Show. Until next time, don't forget to. For the next episode, see ya.